Hi, when we're talking about redundancy at the interface level, there are two options that we can use on FortiGate. We have the link aggregation or lag, and we have the redundant interface option. These two technologies provide redundancy in different ways. With redundant interface, the traffic will flow through one of the interfaces in the group at a time. So it means that if one of the interface fails, the traffic will fail over to the next available interface. As for with lag or link aggregation, the interfaces are bundled as a single interface we are aggregating the available bandwidth of each interface. So we get more bandwidth and we are using all the interface all at once. If one of the interfaces fails on this bundle, uh, what we're going to see is a reduction on the available bandwidth and that's only. Both of them can be used in different scenarios but at the end of the day, we want some redundancy at the interface level. So for this video, we're going to use three firewalls, firewall one, two, and three. And we're going to place firewall two in the middle. And we're going to use redundant interface between the ports on firewall one and firewall two. And we're going to use ports one and two. That's why we see here port one, two, and the address assigned to it will be 192.168.12. As for the connection between Firewall 2 and Firewall 3, we'll use the ports 3 and 4. And the interface assigned to this interface will be 192.168.34. We'll start by configuring redundant interface on Firewall 1. So let's go to Firewall 1. And we can see the interfaces 1 and 2 are available to use. They can't be used anywhere, otherwise we won't be able to create the redundant interface. So we go to create a new interface and we're going to name it as 1, 2. As for the type, we're going to select redundant interface and the interface members will be port 1 and port 2. As for the IP net mask is going to be 192.168.121 and it's going to be a slash 24. And I don't want to create an address object at this time. We want to enable ping because we're going to test reachability between firewalls and we're going to save this. We should see a redundant interface here. That's the name redundant interface 12 and it's available. Now we do the same on Firewall 2. We go to Firewall 2. We see that port 1 and 2 is free. And we're going to create a new interface. The name will be 1.2. As for the type, we're going to select redundant interface. And the members will be port 1 and port 2. The IP will be 192.168.122 slash 24. And we're going to deselect this option and enable ping as well. Okay, and we have our redundant interface on Firewall 2. Now let's test the communication between Firewall 1 and Firewall 2 using CLI. So we're going to open a uh, few prompts here and we're going to log into Firewall 2. So Firewall 2 should be 192.168.43.102. And we're going to set some options to run ping. I'm going to say that the size should take 500. And to send, uh, let's test with 100 packets. And on the other interface, uh, on the other CLI, uh, let me see if I can log in as well. We're going to shut down the port uh, that goes to fire one of the ports that goes to firewall one. So that should be 43102. And we're going to use some widgets on the firewall two. 
just to monitor the interface usage so we go to network we're going to add widget and we're going to select the interface bandwidth and we're going to select the redundant interface we just created okay we can close this okay so now if we run the ping recall that the policies are allowing all the traffic at this moment so we're going to run ping from 192.168.12 to can i ping myself i can so i'm gonna try to ping firewall one and it's working so if we look at the widget so let me squeeze this a little bit okay we see some traffic there around 38 kilos uh inbound outbound okay so let's shut down one of the interfaces so if we go to uh port one if we set the status to down and let's see if we can notice any difference so we see that the ping is still running so we only lost one of the interfaces so if we, i type get port one we can see that the status is down and we see that the traffic was around 30k and now it dropped to kind of the half uh of the bandwidth okay but the ping still working okay so let me bring the interface back again so set the status to up okay so let's see if it is going to change anything and we see a spike here on the traffic and but we still uh see that the ping uh wasn't lost okay so that was redundant interface now let's do the same for the link aggregation so let's go to network interfaces and we want to make sure that interfaces we want to use are available so let me extend these yes they are free now we're going to create a new interface and the name is going to be 34 the type will be aggregate and the interface members will be three and four as for the ip net mask is going to be 192 one six eight three four two slash twenty four and I don't want to create an object for this just going to enable ping and we're going to save this you can see the new interface is available and we're going to do the same on firewall 3 now so we're going to create a new interface and the name is going to be three four the type is going to be aggregate and the interface members will be three and four as for the ip as type 192.168.34.3 slash 24 let's keep it simple and we want to enable ping on this interface as well and let's save this okay the interface is available so let's go back to firewall 2 and look at the widget network and we're going to do the same test so let me add uh, another widget for the link aggregator interface and we're going to select the 34 interface and let's add this and we're going to close this okay so we have the bandwidth for the interface 34 let's run the same ping at this time is going to be 34.3 .3. okay and it's running let's see if we see uh, a change on the interface consumption there it might not be related to to the ping but we see a spike there okay so let's do the same test and shut down one of the interface on this bundle 
So if we go to system interface, edit port 4 and set this status to down and let's save this change see oh it failed so it means that it was using uh, probably uh, all the traffic to port 4 and we see the traffic dropped as well to half of the available bandwidth so it's kind of interesting because I was expecting to see these on link aggregator, but not the same on the redundant interface. But we can see that the ping still running, although it failed uh, one of the packets. So let's bring the interface back up. So edit port 4, set status to up. I'm gonna save this. And we should see uh, an increase on the amount of traffic being sent. So we see a spike to 490 and we lost one packet. So that's it guys. Uh, redundant interface and link aggregation on Fortigate. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video.